Hey good people, summer has finally come to the UK. It took a while, but it's now here in all its glory. For how long we can't tell. Um, and it's actually been, we've had a few hot days uh, of late. Almost to the point of reminding me of living in Ohio a few a couple of decades ago. The amount of humidity and heat uh, sitting in front of a fan of an evening and enjoying the videos of, I think it's pronounced Tanya Spapchuk. Um, now there have been a couple of blue beers on eBay that I have spoken generously about. I enjoyed their videos a while back, probably a couple of years now. I talked about uh, Randy Schardinger, um, a great uh, restoration guy fun videos, very humorous. And then more recently, uh, Ted Woodford, uh, which most of you know, um, I think he's pretty popular. And excellent, excellent Luthier, doing uh, restorations, repairs, great content, very well-spoken, um, eloquent person. And this third example I'm gonna give you now is completely different. Um, the first thing you notice about her videos, those of you who've watched them, uh, is that there is absolutely no dialogue at all. No talking. There's no background music either. So all you get is the sounds of the workshop, which is quite therapeutic, actually. Um, you can hear, you know, the sanding, the scraping, the wood coming off. Uh, it tends to work in silence. Sometimes there's a little background noise, but um, someone is obviously comfortable being alone, working alone, uh, which I can relate to. And um, there's just something very therapeutic about the videos. Uh, she just lets her actions speak for her, for, for uh, instead of words. And um, a complex restoration is very, very gifted Luthia. You can kind of see in the way she edits the videos how she comes across solutions in real time. Um, of course the videos are edited because these are, you know, hours and day long restorations, but they're not edited in a way that's, uh, shall we say, jumpy, um, appealing to people with ADD, um, or, or shrunken, going through the woods now, attention spans. So the videos breathe. You get long moments of of actions. They don't, she doesn't cut everything short. Um, you can really see technique and style. Uh, I believe she's in the Ukraine, um, which obviously has its own implications. So, uh, and it appears that she's in a workshop. There may be other people working in there, but uh, excellent Luthia. Uh, her restoration, full restoration videos, I really, really um, you know, advocate you watching, taking the time to watch them if you're interested in this kind of work. Uh, she does full restorations of old parlors, old Martins, uh, one old classical, uh, a bass, uh, some older electric guitars, and not always vintage. I've seen her take on guitars that are only, you know, one or two hundred old, old Ibanez, um, acoustics and things like that and does, applies the same amount of rigor to the work. So, really interesting channel. I've been binging videos lately, sitting in the heat with headphones on before I go to bed and the fan blowing in my face and watching these very therapeutic videos of a gifted Luthier, um, you know, doing these very complex restorations. A lot of hand tool work, Obviously has some tools in the workshop, but she's not one of these craftsmen you see on YouTube that just has every tool in the book, uh, every every power tool in the book, and they, they just go to, you know, uh, a vast arsenal of uh, electric tools to do everything. And you can't relate because you'll never have that many tools. This is somebody who has basic disc, belt sanders, um, you know, a drill press perhaps, um, uh, maybe a, a bandsaw or a table saw 
And then the rest of the stuff is mostly chisels and knives and whittling and woodworking. Good old fashioned uh, luthery. And you can tell that she is trained or has spent time, you know, as an apprentice, perhaps in a shop, um, because the techniques um, and the ideas that she uses just in things like clamping up, uh, gluing preferences, glue preference, decisions made on, you know, pos positioning certain or, or the order of a, a way to do a repair. Um, you can tell that this is somebody who's done a few, even though she appears to be very young. Um, but excellent, excellent channel. Uh, I don't do this very often. Um, so if you get a recommendation on a channel from me, uh, it's with the highest praise um, because I know there are a lot of them and you know some of them are really heavily edited uh, almost like professional TV stations I tend to enjoy the more natural not to say I'm a Luddite but um, I don't like you know jump cuts and too much intrusion on the content to where it's glitzy and glamoury rather than provoking in thought but anyway that's what uh caught my attention the last couple of weeks um, and I thought to mention it because uh, some of you probably have already indulged or would find it interesting to do so. All right folks I'll leave you and go enjoy this beautiful summer day. See you next time.